So it looks like Americans have a few more things they can be happy about. Uh, Home Depot just announced that they're going to be giving a thousand dollar bonuses because of the tax reform. Uh, I did a, just another video just today. Campbell's Soup is moving one of their factories to America or three different locations within America. So there's some more jobs for you. And then Disney announced a thousand dollar bonus and a fifty million dollar education fund for employees. And this is because of the tax bill. They've all cited because of the tax bill. Also, JP Morgan to hire four thousand new workers in new in the US after the tax bill. So what he did with this tax bill and when these companies first announced that they're giving bonuses, it it has created a like cascading effect and now other companies are going to start doing the same thing because they're going to get pressure from their employees from the media they don't want to look bad so now you're going to see this happening more and more and more and it's going to continue to happen up until the uh midterms right and maybe even after then so it's going to be really hard for nancy pelosi and all these people to convince people that what they're getting is crumbs because to you a thousand dollars is crumb that's because you're an elitist liberal who's extremely fucking rich but to an average person getting another thousand dollars a year added to your income is actually a, sub a substantial amount of money and if you appeal to people's pocketbooks that is what really matters in the end if you can easily more easily take care of yourself and provide for your family this is what people care about they're not going to care as much about your rhetoric when they're getting results <laughs> and this is just going to fortify his base and fortify the people who voted for him because a lot of these jobs are going back into areas that needed these jobs so and and a lot of these bonuses are, ha are being given to uh, low-skilled workers as well. So this is good. And if you guys were to just uh, listen to him on immigration as well and reduce immigration, get fix your legal uh, immigration problem, you, you guys would have even more money. Your wages would go up even more. So there, there's no way to spin this in a negative fashion. Like, this is good. This is all because of the tax reform bill. And Trump gets 100% uh, all the credit for this, right? And this is going to change the way other countries uh, address their taxes. Because when you see something working so well, other people are going to want to follow suit. Other countries are going to be like, hey, like, we need to do this too. Because look, look at the growth. Look at all these bonuses. And look, you didn't even have to create legislation for this you didn't have to do anything like in canada i mentioned before they're raising the minimum wage and now in toronto we have the campbell's factory going down south we have people downsizing we have tim hortons taking away people's benefits to pay for uh, the increase people are downsizing so just lowering the taxes allowed all these people to retain their jobs it brought more jobs over and it is increasing their wage so this is just more proof that the free market is better it's better than government intervention and more things things work out better when a government stays out of it so this is more of an argument again for libertarianism and why less influence in the market is better right because people go, oh you're giving these corporations money it's not giving it's letting them keep more of their money <laughs> they didn't they didn't take all this money like all these corporations you gave your money voluntarily to them and the only reason people are worried about monopolies but the only good way to stop them before they happen is just stop giving your money to certain companies right so uh good on trump for doing this tax bill and like i said before it's going to keep happening and it's going to be really hard for the democrats to spin this in a negative light and I think they are going to be in trouble in the midterms, at least. And they're probably not going to get as much of an advantage or as many. They're not going to acquire as many seats as they believe. Because once people are actually seeing the benefits 
are they really going to want to go back to uh, the Democratic uh, House and Senate and stuff, and then where they're stopping everything from happening, stopping all this progress? Because then they're just going to want to reverse. What are they going to reverse? Like, no, we're going to tax them more, so then they reduce your pay, and this is this is better for you. Don't worry, we'll come in and we'll give you welfare afterwards when they when they uh, cut your pay and wages stagnate. Don't worry, we'll we'll help you. <laughs> right. So, uh, you know, this is pretty awesome. I'm I'm happy for you guys. I wish my leadership uh, had a brain as well and did did what Trump was doing, but. I have the complete opposite of Trump. We have Trudeau, which is who is the uh, you know the a feminist fucking leader. He, he self describes as a feminist. He he puts forth feminist foreign policy like that's that's a literal thing he has said. Like he believes in like feminist economics. Like, like we are fucked in Canada, and you guys don't know how lucky you are. You know. People, you, especially liberals in America, you really, you really don't know how lucky you are. Because if you had like a Democratic fucking Senate, House, and and presidency and stuff, like you have barely any rights. Illegals would be taking over your country. Immigrants would be making all the fucking decisions, and your economy would go to shit because there would be like high corporate taxes, and everybody else would just be going to other countries, and you would be continuous you would still be hemorrhaging jobs right so that's all i pretty much had to say if you like my content subscribe and have a good day see ya